वेलकम टू द टू मिनट सीरीज टूडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट रोमैटिक वेलवुलर हार्ट डिजीज नाउ रोमैटिक फीवर इज अ सिस्टेमिक रिकरेंट इन्फ्लामेटरी डिजीज विच इज ट्रिगर्ड बाय अ फेरेंजल इन्फेक्शन विद ग्रुप ए बीटा हिमोलैटिक स्ट्रेप्टोकाई नाउ नॉट ऑल पीपल हु सफर फ्रॉम फेरेंजाइटिस डेवलप रोमैटिक हार्ट डिजीज ओनली जेनेटिकली ससेप्टेबल इंडिविजुअल्स प्रोड्यूस ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज दैट क्रॉस रिएक्ट विद द कार्डियक एंटीजेंस Now what happens is that you generate an immune response against the bacteria and the bacteria has m proteins now these m proteins are antigens that resemble antigens in human tissues and so as you are generating response against the m proteins you begin to generate a response against the human tissues and that results in damaged tissues and then of course acute rheumatic fever now acute rhd affects myocardium endocardium and pericardium like that is all three layers of the heart are affected now myocardium develops myocarditis whose most distinct feature is ash of body now let's see the ash of body now this is an image of here of an ash of body these are all myocytes which are labeling here with m and in the middle of myocytes here is the ash of body now what is an ash of body it is a focus of chronic inflammation which contains giant cells and fibrinoid material all these degenerated collagen with a group of cells called enitskau cells now what are these enitskau cells now these enitskau cells are very high yield these are histocytes having slender and wavy nuclei running down the middle and they are also called the caterpillar nucleus this is a this is a hallmark cell now the pericardium is affected which results in fibrinous pericarditis and friction rub now endocarditis may be a prominent feature that typically involves mitral and aortic valves now if the disease stays there for a longer period it in, it will involve mitral and aortic valve but most commonly mitral valve is involved and which is characterized by valve thickening and calcification now the complication would include mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation aortic stenosis or aortic regurgitation congestive heart failure and infective endocarditis now here is the is the picture of aortic valve which is involved in rhd now this is the now the, the idea here is that the scarring of the valve with fusion of the commissure now these are the cusps 1 2 and 3 and these aortic valves are are just plugged in to the aortic root now what happens is that this individual uh, valve commissure gets scarred and and it causes thickening which results in narrowed opening and this is called this is called fish mouth appearance of the aortic valve now diagnosis includes uh, evidence of group a beta hemolytic streptokokai infection anti streptolysin o or anti dns b titer and minor criteria include fever and elevated esr now the major criteria is of jones criteria and the thing is how i remember the jones is i remember the first letters of the jones j o n e and s now j reminds me of joints that is polyarthralgia o reminds me of pancarditis and n reminds me of nodules there are subcutaneous nodules e is erythema marginatum because the erythematous rash is on the margin so it is called erythema marginatum and s is sydenham scoria so this is all about rheumatic heart disease if you like this video then please share with your friends and colleagues if you want to see more videos from this series click on the box at the top and if you want to see other videos then click on the box at the bottom and yes don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks